On Tuesday, the community gathered for the annual lighting of the menorah. This year was extra special with a dedication to a beloved community member who passed last year. Uh, well, uh, we had a really a nice turnout here tonight to celebrate uh, the uh, sixth night of Hanukkah here. Uh, and um, really we were, should have been here Sunday night, but the rain uh, uh, was a little difficult uh, to handle, although we were here, actually we lit the menorah in the rain with the electricity uh, with the Greenfield family who uh, sponsored this menorah in memory of the Holocaust survivor and longtime Norwood resident, Mr. Aaron Greenfield. And we are um, uh, uh, thankful for them uh, for doing this, and this is very special to memorialize him in such a way by lighting a menorah which shows the symbol of Judaism, which is hope, light, love, and the idea, as we explained earlier, is that every night of Hanukkah we add another light, which brings out the idea that we always have to do a little more, each and every one of us in our daily lives, to try to strive to do a little more good every single day, and by that, uh, bring usher in the world uh, with more goodness and kindness uh, to bring, uh, bring, a, bring about a peaceful world uh, very soon. Well, the Lubavitcher Rebbe, uh, who uh, instituted the, this idea of public menorah lightings, uh, because uh, the, to bring, to not just have the light, you can do it in your own home, which is great, but to go on the outside, especially now, uh, we want to uh, try to increase in light uh, in this world by doing good and bringing the menorah out in the public and dancing out in the public. It really brings out this idea and also it shows the greatness of this country, of the United States of America. We, we, we are able to practice our religion freely with Jewish people uh, not that many years ago. My, myself, included them. I mean, I'm, I'm a grandson of Holocaust survivors and I, can, I remember my grandparents telling me that back in the day they couldn't even dream of having a menorah outdoors. So we are thankful to being in this great country, the United States of America, and uh, uh, re exercising our right for religious freedom and sharing this love and light with everyone. Uh, that each and every one who's watching this, each and every one of you can uh, take a message from this holiday. You don't have to be Jewish to take a message of this holiday, which is really to try to in increase in acts of goodness and kindness uh, which um, make the world a better place by just saying good morning to someone that uh, you know you haven't spoken to in a while, uh, doing a, an act of kindness, uh, giving some charity, or reaching out to someone who you know is lonely, whatever it is, all we can do a lot uh, to make this world a, a brighter place and uh, usher in, God willing, very soon, as the prophet says, that come a time when there'll be no war and no, no fighting and there will be only goodness in this world with the coming of the righteous Mashiach now. Amen.